Hi, my name's Michael and I'm the CEO of a firm of solicitors called Taylor's Legal. I would highly recommend that you just sit down with anyone from Norton's. They've got a concept that once you buy into, you've, you've got a journey. And, and they will take you on that journey. They do a brilliant job and they're very subtle. The, the problems and issues that you think are like the end of the world because change in an office environment is, is never greeted well. But they just calm the situation. They see the modern way. They almost see the future. And we're on that journey with them and I'm very thankful to Nordens for that. Making my job easier, giving us direction. Use Nordens. Right, um, where do I start? It's, it's one heck of a long journey, but I'll try and keep it to a, a summary. Uh, 2005, uh, my wife, a solicitor, uh, was struggling in the city, the West End, and we encouraged her to start her own business. I was a black cab driver, and she started in the spare bedroom, and it took off. My wife has got the X factor when it comes to dealing with estate agents, uh, developers, etc., etc. So, uh, got to the point where she needed help, admin. So I stopped driving the cab, and from then on, we were speaking to another solicitor on another side of a transaction, and, and Nicola was actually asking for help in that expertise, uh, and. We had this common interest, which is when we said, let's have a chat, and found out he lived two doors away. Uh, quite incredible, got on like a house on fire. 2005, August, started the business, and it just took off. Um, they knew what they were doing, uh, but when it came to marketing, came to organization, that was where I came in and uh, my business background before I was a cab driver helped me kind of understand. But, you know, there was a, a difficulty. So the accountants we were with, fantastic, lovely, got on, you know, we gave them our books, and, and everything was carrying on the way we always thought it should happen. And we, we got to a certain size, but there was, there was something missing. And it turns out, it, happened to be Nordens. Nordens had this concept. They weren't just a firm of accountants. They had this real ability to see the modern way. So one of the first things they said, which I would say to anyone watching this, is what do you want? What, what do you want out of your career? Where, where do you want to be? And that was however many years ago now. I don't know if we can still answer that question, but it's, it's a base. It's, it's something we can work with. Um, so we've now got four partners. Uh, we've got 45 people working in England and a dozen in India. And we've got five bots, AI, artificial intelligence. Sounds too good to be true in the solicitor's game. So I'm the practice manager, now CEO. So a typical solicitor out of the 15,000 or so there are in um, England and Wales, mostly, it's terrible to be generic, but mostly they just want to get on with their work, do their work. They don't want to worry about staff problems and um, accountants problems, budgets, forecasts, they, they just don't want to. And, and my four are, are typical. We work in partnership. I think that's the best way to put it. With, on this occasion, Joe Sword, uh, with his right-hand man, Stephen Brewer, who literally wipe our bottoms. They do all the work that 
I would have normally done as the CEO, practice manager. And it comes to the end of the month, for instance, and I would typically spend nearly a whole day on all the data, the stats, the uh, targets, etc., etc. And now I don't do any of it. Now I just read it. Um, and I'd say the main thing on that point is that they've taught me to delegate. Not just to them, but to the rest of my team who actually can do it. I don't have to do everything, it, not anymore. And that gives me the scope to help grow the business, to organize the partners, the directors, I should say. So within a strategic partners meeting, which we have typically once a month, give or take, because getting four directors in the same room on the same day is, is difficult. They run the meeting. Oh, Joe runs the meeting with me chipping in here and there. And it's got to the stage where actually we're between Joe and myself, we're just telling the team, the partners, the directors, what's going on and then encouraging the partners to chip in as well, to uh, bless Nordens, they want to get the directors to put 10% of their time into running the company, which is an insignificant amount. But as far as solicitors are concerned, not gonna happen. So he's encouraging it, but between us, we've learned our customer. We, we know what to do to get the best out of them so that Nordens and myself get the best for them. A kind of a no brainer. Well, how do Nordens stop the typical bickering problems that happen in a board meeting? that happen within the organisation. That's kind of a, a subconscious miracle because I could go to Joe and, and say, well, I've got this problem with this person and it was, it's like a big thing for us. And somehow he turns it round into a positive. And, and, you know, he may sit down with that person, may, the three of us may sit down or he might suggest a way forward. Hold on, they're accountants. How are they helping us run our business? It's a miracle. Uh, so now I feel, and the directors feel that they can go to Joe as the go-to person. And does it undermine me as a CEO? Not anymore. And it was not anymore because that was only in my mind that I might have felt undermined and they're relying on the accountants instead of me. Well, actually, we work as a partnership. So it's, it's a real win-win situation and it can take some of the problems away from me that I don't have to deal with. And again, all that extra time that I've got, I can help with growth because it's like the government, we're looking for growth, um, and like a permanent, steady staircase of growth. So how does Nordens help us with our growth? I think this first started with myself as the practice manager, sitting there trying to get an Excel spreadsheet with a grid and the lines down, and then asking the staff if anyone knows, and, and almost the first day I sat down with Joe and he, he said, right, okay, let's, let's put all the, these data, these figures that you're telling me into this grid. And then that grid feeds into another page of grids as a spreadsheet. And oh my God, I, that, even just that 10 minutes of, of changing or manu manipulating data has, that would take me a day. Wow, and not only that, I know it's right. 
because when I do it and my basic knowledge of an Excel spreadsheet, it was like, I almost cried when I saw it because it, this is, it again, it's the miracle. So with that, with that data and information, like my original question is, what do we want? Well, now we, we can see a picture. We can see a journey. We, we can see data and make a targets, make budgets and forecasts, and then bring that to the workforce, bring that to the team leaders, bring that to the partners. And suddenly we've got direction, which we didn't before. Now in fairness, 2005 to 2016, we were growing. You know, it, it didn't need anyone to, to help us more than we thought. But 2016, Brexit and um, the stamp duty on investors, you know, closed us down for quite a while. And that journey that Norden's helped us on to get us back was incredible. So growth is kind of the key. We, we, we work on approximately 13% growth per annum. Great place to be. That, that's, you know, but that's a target. We, we didn't have that before in, in, in those early years. We, we didn't know, we just grew. Well, you, you still got to control your growth.